Hello and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we got the review of the apocalyptic thriller, The Divide. The Divide is a little independent thriller came out last year, directed by French director Xavier Gins, and stars Michael Bean, Rosanna Arquette, and Milo Ventimiglia. Now this one's really good, man, when it comes to apocalyptic thrillers. They don't fuck around with no bullshit, no scientific explanations. They just start out, a bunch of motherfuckers live in a big apartment building, running down some stairs. You see out the window some fucking missiles or some meteor. You're not sure what the fuck's going on first. Shit is just slamming into the fucking ground, blowing the whole city up. Everybody's fucking dying. Right before the last big blast and a big group of people running towards the basement of this building, Michael Bean fucking shuts this door, slams it. It's like a big, almost like a door you see on a goddamn submarine with the little turny shit that fucking, you know, gets that shit all locked up, can't get anybody else get in there. And it's basically like an underground bunker and shit, down all surrounded by cement and stuff, so, you know, they're safe in there. They start talking about what happened, Michael Bean saying it was nukes, there's gonna be nuclear radiation, they can't go outside, because if they do, their fucking skin will melt off and all this shit. Got a small group of survivors going on. You know, they all fighting to see who's boss. Eventually, Michael Bean says, hey, I'm the superintendent. I built this bomb shelter. All you motherfuckers in. I got all the food. You're going to do what I say. So Michael Bean does a pretty damn good job for a little while keeping these fuckers under control, keeping them eating. But, you know, every couple weeks, they want to know what's going on and shit. They want to get out. And he's saying, no, don't fucking open that door. Fucking, we're all going to die of radiation dust and shit. And they want to fight him and fight him. No, no, you don't know what's going on, Michael Bean. You're fucking crazy. They're waiting for some fucking reinforcement. Somebody come save them and shit. Well, somebody does show up. And guess what? These motherfuckers in radiation suits and shit, they're not too friendly. They start smacking people, shooting people, all kinds of shit. They never really tell you clear cut what's going on. Are these, are these scientists fuckers? Are they army fuckers? You know, they start snatching a little girl up, take her out and stuff. You know, are they going to kill everybody? So you don't know. Well, fucking Michael Bean ain't taking no chances near the other people. They all get fucking pistol whipped and shit. They start fighting back. They take these motherfuckers by force. They take their suits. They rip them apart. They take access to them. They get their guns from them. They shoot them. So basically, they drive these fuckers out. They get the door all sealed back up and shit. And it's basically like, holy shit, what hope do we have now? You know, these motherfuckers are supposed to come and save us. They ain't here killing us and shit. We fought back. What's going to happen next? Well, obviously, you know, the door's been open and shit, the shit's been sealed. What starts happening? Well, while they're waiting out, see if the fuckers are going to come back, everybody starts getting sick, you know, fucking. First, Milo being Amelia's fucking uh, gums start bleeding. Next time, everybody's, their hair's falling out shit. Shit starts to get kooky. Comes from real Lord of the Fly shit. Fuckers are fighting for control, wanting to control the food supply, this and this. Next, you know, Michael Bean's thrown out as leader. Fucking these other guys are taking over. It just degenerates into complete fucking anarchy. Yes, while it's technically post-apocalyptic and, you know, it has to do with the end of the world, it's really not about the end of the world. It's really about the breakdown of society. When you fucking lock fuckers up, you take everything away from them, their freedom, their hope, what's going to start happening, man? People start fighting over just, like, little scraps of food. Fuckers start getting crazy, man. Start, you know, tempting to rape some people. Some people start fucking acting out, having some weird sexual acts and shit. You just don't know what's going to happen. And that's the thing that is really good about this movie. Is they really did the claustrophobia thing. They really showed up. People changed, start turning into human monsters and shit. You really don't know what the fuck's going to happen next in this motherfucker. And I'm not going to spoil it, but of course it all boils down to a big fucking climactic whatever. But before it does, man, fucking everybody gets all mutated looking, hair falling out, turning out bino fucking... <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of shit, sores and shit. This shit gets so nasty in this fucking underground bunker shit. It's sometimes the lucky motherfuckers are the ones who die first. Because living like this, man, it's like, yeah, you're surviving. Yeah, you live to live another day and all that shit. But is it really fucking worth it? And that's what this movie kind of the question, the moral burden. How far will you go to survive? And is it worth fucking surviving? So just being really super fucking hardcore, I got the unrated Blu-ray here, man, and just, you know, it just really gets gritty and shit, it really gets gory in some parts. But, you know, for the movie it was trying to be, trying to show how fucking nasty man can be in times of survival and whatever, Divide's one of the best of these post-apocalyptic whatever movies ever made. It's really, I would say in terms of grimness and bleakness, it's really on par with The Road, that movie from a few years ago. And being in that subgenre and really taking it to the limit and not pussing out. I gotta give The Divide a fucking 8.5 out of 10. It really gets you tensed up and fucking skeezes you out from how crazy and sex crazed and weird and bizarre these motherfuckers get. I'll tell you, it'll really work on your nerves, goddammit. 
All right, when it comes to picture and sound, this being some, you know, stuck in a little underground bullshit, it ain't gonna have the color palette that a lot of films have that show off the Blu-ray format, but it does look good. It looks crystal clear. There's some cool lab scenes with the scientist shit without proving too much, you know, it's kind of real brightly lit, and the fucking, you know, the missiles or whatever you want to say, following this shit, blowing everything up, it looks really fucking good in the brief shots so that you see it. Sound was good, had a nice good ambience of the underground bunker, an explosion happened overhead. Like, you know, they're, they're kind of surrounded by thick concrete so they can't hear you, hear the muffled explosion. It really does sound like shit's happening right outside your fucking window. So picture and sound for the divide, I'm going to say it's really solid, really good. I'm going to give it fucking 8 out of 10. Special features, not a whole lot on here. All they got is the audio commentary with director Xavier Gaines. And actors Michael Bean, Michael Eklund, and Mila Ventimiglia in a trailer. So, not a whole lot there. Thankfully, they did get the director involved, you know, to do the commentary and shit. So, special features. I could have done a little more. I would like to see some documentary shit while they're filming and shit. But, you know, whatever. We got to take what we can get. Special features. A little skimpy, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and give it six and a half out of ten special features. All right, that's it for Divide. I'm sorry, can I cannot give you just a more detailed or whatever but i tell you what if i talk too much about this movie it's going to spoil it just know this fucking shit is hardcore this fucking shit will make you you know like i don't know man like somebody like walking dead okay let's pick on walking dead walking dead makes it seem like it's gonna be fun and games when the world ends and shit and zombies and blah 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 but i tell you what man this movie will not make you fucking romanticize for it's the end of the world as we know it and all that shit this fucking movie will make you dread the end of the world. As you fucking should. Quit getting so friendly with the end of the world, goddammit.